At Firefly, our ambition is to tackle neurodegenerative disease, particularly Alzheimer's, from two important angles. The first is to capitalize on the wisdom and expertise of leading scientists. The second is to nurture and support a new generation of bright lights. We sponsor the Brain Bee every year, and as a sponsor, we want to celebrate the intellectual capacity of these young people who have a real passion for going into the sciences. We've developed a program, Bright Lights in the Lab, which is a very comprehensive and very challenging program for these young people to go through the discovery process and to take graduate level programs really and, and put their brains to the test. We're quite excited to be able to roll that out into a summer camp. What interested me about the program was the opportunity to refine my lab skills and to practice research. There's a huge difference between what I did here and what I learned during the school year because I actually got to design an experiment. That's not something that I do all the time. I feel like that's really cool and different. I think it appeals to a student who is curious, who wants to try out new things, and who's willing to take risks. It's a very well-organized program in the sense that if you take risks and you fail, we have ways of supporting you and bringing you back up. But what we're also, in fact, trying to encourage is failure. We are trying to say, here's what scientists do. One of the things we talk about often is we celebrate failure and we in fact want to record our failures in our lab notebooks so that other people who follow us won't do it. The snails are a good model for studying neurological disorders I think because of the simplicity of their nervous system and their ease of handling. In neuroscience research there's been a long history of using invertebrate animals to examine the basic principles underlying how the neuron and in general how the brain works. There are some practical benefits. They're usually very small in size, so they're easy to handle and they're cheap to raise. And then physiologically, they have uh, much fewer neurons than we do, so probably on the range of tens of thousands as compared to the billions that we have. So this makes neural circuits and basic fundamental principles very easy to dissect. Visiting the library is actually very important because not everyone these days of the digital era has the chance to go to the library and realize where the knowledge is actually coming from. So this experience of going to the library, looking at the journal stacks, having to search for information is one of the toughest things and you have to be very good at it. I have been observing the program for, for a week and I can tell you what I see here is the opportunity for students to experience what it means to be a scientist. And my contention is that whenever you put students into an authentic role, that you really get the deepest learning. It shows you the difficulties that come with research but also the skills that you need to overcome those difficulties, like the problem solving and the teamwork and things like that. I'm really into this kind of stuff. It's kind of what I'm interested in. It's like finding out the answers to a lot of questions that I have. It's this curiosity that I really want to fill. It's like, it's like I have a lot of questions and then I'm just like, how am I going to answer this? Google isn't answering this. Um, okay, so this person did something. Well, how am I going to do it? So I just want to come here and figure that out. People keep referring to the brain as the last frontier. It's the next frontier that hasn't been explored. I mean, we've been to space, we've been to the bottom of the ocean, but at the same time, we really don't understand how the brain works. Neuroscience is, I think, probably one of the most valuable sciences because it helps us understand ourselves as a species. It's definitely given me experience so I know where to channel my efforts uh, further along the road. It's always really exciting to see that little light bulb going on above their head, whether it's them discovering a new research question, uh, thinking of a new way to make the experiment work, or discovering that they have some capabilities that they never realized before, and maybe they will take it with them in their future. And there's also opportunities to carry this beyond just the science, to carry it into lifestyle, to carry into education about what it is to have a healthy brain, how to keep your brain healthy. That would be the long-term ambition of Firefly, is to help everyone's brain last a lifetime.